having an angle of 30 degrees with HP. That's why and XY is the reference line for X, uh, XP as uh, HP as well as VP. So what we will do is that we will draw a reference line of uh, parallel to XY and then we will draw a line which is t at 30 degrees and of length 50 mm. So P dash Q dash is at 30 degrees and is of length 50 uh, mm. And as you can see that if uh, this line is in VP, so this is what this is our front view that we can see or you can say the elevation or you can uh, say it as the front view whatever you wish to say that. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to draw is now we have to draw the projection of this line P dash Q dash where on say HP. Now it is there in VP. So if I see it from the front, then it will be a line on what? It will be a line on XY. So I'll first draw end the projectors from P dash and mark this point as P, which is on XY. And then from Q dash, I'll drop a point on XY that is Q. And once I draw PQ, then this will be my top view that I actually want. So I have my front view and I have my top view. So this is the solution of the problem which is the first example. I hope you all understood. Okay, so now let's move to a bit complex pro problems. What this problem says, let's try to understand. The front view of a line UP 75 mm long measures 55 mm. Now, this line, let us uh, first read the question for, then we will uh, uh, take it line by line. The front view of a line UP 75 mm long measures 55 mm. The line is parallel to HP and inclined to VP. Its end U is in VP and 20 meters, uh, to, uh, sorry, 20 mm above HP. Draw the projection of the line and determine the inclination with VP. Point P is in the first quadrant. Okay, so once again, let's go on the paper and uh, let's say ki why this uh, question, uh, what this question says. So first I will say ki what is given. It is better to first note down in uh, on a rough paper that what all things are given. Now the front, the f uh, first line of the question says the front view of a line UP 75 mm long measures 55 mm see the question uh, the uh, person who has created the question try is trying to trick you by giving two figures in a single line so you have to understand that uh, 75 mm is what and 55 mm is what so the front view of a line up 75 mm long measures 55 mm so it is saying that the front view of the line the length of the front view is 55 mm and its true length is what 75 mm so my fifty five mm and my true length TL is stands for true length is seventy five mm okay the next thing is says that the line is parallel to HP and inclined to VP. So we'll say that uh, the line, I'll denote it by symbols. This is the symbol of line, is actually parallel. This is the symbol for uh, parallel. Uh, it is uh, parallel to HP, and it is at an angle to VP. Okay. It's end U is in VP. Now it says that end U is in VP. U in VP. So this suggests that this point U will be actually on line XY. This is why this line is given. And then it says and it is 20 mm above HP. So one point is that it is in VP. And the second thing is that it is at a height of 20 mm from HP. So my U... Uh,
above HP and it says that my point P is in the first quadrant. Why this particular line has been mentioned? It is because that if I uh, if this is in VP and it is 20 mm above uh, HP. Now that the, what they have not mentioned is that is it in front or is it in back? So uh, if I uh, suggest if I take this point behind VP and if I view it from the third quadrant, uh, sorry the second quadrant, then my both HP and VP will change. The horizontal projection and the vertical projection will change. Both will come above line XY. But this uh, line that says that it is uh, in the first quadrant, that's why my HP will come below XY and VP will come above XY. So what will happen is that uh, this is the given data. Now I have to draw what? Now I have to draw my uh, projection. So first I'll draw my line XY. Let's move to the slide now. So uh, I hope you all have understood the problem what was there the given data that I tried to uh, explain you. Okay, so now the same thing again first you have to draw the line XY. And again as it is in the first quadrant HP uh, will be below line XY and VP will be above the line XY. Okay, the second uh, the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to mark the point on XY. Why we are going to mark point U on XY? It is because U is in VP. The point U is in VP. That's why we mark this point U and then we will mark U dash that is 20 mm above line XY uh, and is in line with U. Okay, now this U is one of the endpoints for the top view. Why the top view? Uh, sorry, the front view. And this U dash is uh, one of the points for the top view. Why is that? Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. U is for the front view, and then we'll see it again. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, U is one of the point of the front view and uh, U dash is another point for the top view. So let's move on. Uh, it is 20 mm. The distance between both of them is 20 mm. Okay. Now we have to draw a line U dash P dash which is parallel to XY and is of the length of 55 mm. As I said U, uh, U dash is, of, uh, is one of the endpoints for the front view and U is one of the uh, points for the top view because it, uh, the line is in VP so if, I, if you view it, on the, uh, view it from the top then the line will come on XY itself and if we view the same line from the front then it will be actually a straight line which is uh, there on uh, VP. So U dash P dash will be the front view and it is given that it is of the length of 55 mm. So we will draw a line segment U dash P dash of 55 mm length which will be our front view which is given in the question. Okay. So this is our front view which is actually given in the question. So now what we have to do is that uh, we have to find that what will be the projection on HP. So for that what the uh, data has been given to us that it is making an angle with VP and it is, uh, it is making an angle with VP but they have not given the angle. We actually have to find out the angle but what they have given us is that they have given us the true length that is 75 mm long is the true length. So what we will do is from P dash that is there on your screen from P dash we will draw a projector which is actually parallel to U U dash. Now we know the true length of the line so we know that it is parallel to HP so the true length of the line will actually be the top view uh, which will be casted on HP. So what we can do is that in the next step you will see that we will take the radius of 75 mm and with the radius of 75 mm and center as U, we will cut an arc on this projector that we have drawn from V. So point center will be U and 75 mm arc and we will cut an arc here. So what it will do is it will give us the actual position of the top view. Why? Because there will be only one position or say one angle where this line 
will be at or say any point on this line is at 75 mm from u there will be only one single point below line x y uh, where it will be uh, at 75 mm from u so if we cut an arc here then we will go, uh, get what we will get point p which is the uh, actual distance of 75 mm from u this is it okay now the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to join uh, the line up which will actually give us what it will give us our uh, top view and it is also equivalent to the true length as it shows in the step uh, that is there we'll join up it will be the uh, top view and it will be equivalent to the true length which is uh, which is there in the question okay now the next now we will measure the we have to find out its true inclination with vp the angle is not given so what we will do is that the angle y u and p which is being made by the top view we will measure that angle and we will denote it as theta so this theta will actually be its true inclination with the vertical plane or say the front view so this theta will be the required answer along with the front view and the top view that is asked in the question you are asked to draw the projection as well as to find the true inclination of the top view with uh, respect to the vertical plane so we have drawn the fr uh, front view which is above xy and we have drawn the top view which is below xy with point u being in vp it is there on uh, line xy and then we have uh, this angle theta that we are going to measure and we will have what we will have our true inclination of the line up with the vertical plane i hope you understood the second problem also so let's move to the third problem okay so in the first uh, we, now this is the case of the second uh, this is the second case in which the line is going to be uh, inclined to both the axes that is uh, vertical projection as well as uh, sorry the vertical plane as well as the horizontal plane so first let's read the question a straight line ab is 60 mm long it is inclined to hp and vp by an angle of 30 degrees and 40 degrees respectively point a is 30 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp draw projections of straight line ab now it has we just have a straight line ab which is of length of 60 mm now this line is making two angles one is it is making with the horizontal plane the other it is making an angle with the vertical plane so with horizontal plane it is making an angle of 30 degrees and with vertical plane it is making an angle of 40 degrees so we have to draw both the projection now just visualize two vectors now both the vectors are going in different directions and they are making they are not uh, actually uh, perpendicular to each other they are at say an angle with each other so it is just like drawing their resultant but the steps that you are going to draw on paper are very different than what you do for solving a vector okay so 30 degrees with hp and 40 degrees with vp so what how are we going to do this the same steps are going to be followed first we are going to draw what we are going to draw line xy and again we are going to make the same uh, we are going to make the same planes that is hp uh, it will be up, uh, below xy and vp will be above xy okay so now what next why we have drawn vp above and hp below now what this point point a is 30 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp so a point a the position of this point a is given to us which uh, tells us that this the line and the projection and uh, will be on what will be in the first quadrant because the line is above vp sorry the point a is actually above vp by 30 mm and 20 mm it will be in front of vp so we will plot the points that are there first we will mark point a dash 30 mm above xy why above xy because it is at an height of 30 mm above the horizontal plane which is given to the question given in the question point is 30 mm above hp which is given in the question so first we will mark point a dash which is 30 mm above xy and then the next line is that and it is 20 mm in front of the vertical plane 
hence it will move from xy in hp so it will be 20 mm below line xy both a dash and a will be in one line because they are both uh, projecting say they are on uh, the same point is being projected on horizontally and vertically so they will both be on a single line and as you can see that a dash is 30 mm above uh, xy and a is 20 mm below xy okay so next let's move on the third uh, the third step will be to draw a dash b a dash and b1 dash uh, i have taken this notation so that uh, uh, randomly it is not uh, specific that you can you can take any notation that is suitable to you in some of the books there will be uh, it will be like uh, the vertical projections will be taken as dash and the horizontal projections will be taken without the dash so you can uh, follow that notation or you can use your own notation but please see that the notations are not uh, uh, interchanged if you are using say a dash so b dash c dash the same uh, pattern should be followed for a particular plane here we are using the dash pattern for the vertical plane and the without dash pattern for the hp uh, that is a horizontal plane so we are going to follow that uh, system up till the last okay so now next thing what we have to do is that we uh, from a dash the line is making an angle with 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal plane so the top view will actually be at 30 degrees oh sorry the if we if you just say that the line is inclined at 30 degrees with uh, horizontal projection and we once forget that what angle is it making with the vertical plane so what it will do is that we can have an intermediate projection of a sing of the line making an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the uh, with respect to hp so we will it will be making 30 degrees with xy so this is a parallel uh, line to xy and then we are going to draw a dash and uh, b1 dash which is an intermediate projection or say you can say the intermediate uh, front view that will actually help us in deriving what in deriving the final uh, front view the similar thing we, now we have done what we have done we have uh, first we thought key there is no inclination with vp and we have drawn this line which is its inclination of 30 degrees with hp now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, think that there is no inclination with hp and we will think that there is only